Hi friends, welcome to Simplifying Maths. Today's topic is formulas on polygons. First, we're going to what we are going to deal is we're going to deal formulas about interior and exterior angles of a polygon. This is a polygon, right? This is interior angle. This is exterior angle. We're going to deal the form uh, formulas about this interior angles and exterior angles. Let us see the first formula. Sum of interior angles. If the number of sides on a regular polygon is n, then sum of interior angles is n minus 2. So the formula is n minus 2. In a regular polygon, number of sides are n. So number of sides we have to take it as n for the formula. Then the Interior angles, sum of interior angles, how to find is n minus 2 into 180 degrees. Let me explain with an example. Here I have taken example as n is equal to 4. Number of sides is equal to 4. Let me apply this in the formula. The formula is n minus 2 into 180 degrees. So 4 minus 2 into 180 degrees. I will get 4 minus 2, 2, 2 into 180 degrees. I will get 360 degrees. So when I take a square, in this square all angles are 90 degrees. We have learned that square is an equiangular and equilateral also. So square has all angles equal. So when I when I add 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 because we are de dealing with sum of interior angles so I should add all interior angles and getting 360 the, why I am adding all interior angles and of a square is to show that when I add when I take the number of sides and prove it also I am getting 360 degrees when I am adding all the angles in a, a, a Square because square is equiangular also and then 360. So this formula is correct. Next, next formula. Each interior angle in a number of sides. So the number of sides of a regular polygon again regular polygon is n. Number of sides are n. Then each interior angle la. In the last slide, we have learned about sum of interior angles. That means all, adding all interior angles. In this slide, we are going to check the value of each interior angle. That means if the if the polygon it has three ang uh, three lines, like three angles. So for finding one angle in that, for this we are using this formula. The formula is n minus two into one eighty degrees by n. N is number of sides. Number of sides minus 2 into 180 degrees by number of sides. So let me show you with an example. Here I have taken number of sides as 5. N is equal to 5. Let me substitute it. 5 minus 2. Here N minus 2, right? So 5 minus 2 into 180 degrees by N, number of sides. So here also 5. So 5 minus 2 gives me. 3 into 180 degrees by 5. So 3 into 180 degrees I get 540. 540 by 5 I get 108 degrees. So each angle is 108 degrees. N means pentagon right. In pentagon if it is a regular pentagon. Then each angle is 100 degrees. Next formula. Sum of exterior angles. We have learned about interior angles. Sum of interior angles and each interior angle. Now sum of exterior angles. If a number of sides of a regular number of sides. Again regular polygon. If it is a regular polygon. N. Then the formula is 360 degrees. This is the formula. For each and every polygon. The sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. For each and every polygon, the sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. 
for example if you take 6 also n is equal to 6 for whatever polygon you take the angle that is 360 degrees next each exterior angle we have learned about each interior angle a sum of exterior angles means adding all exterior angles each interior angle means finding one in exterior angles each exterior angle means finding one exterior angle here again the number of sides we have taken an n in that we in, in regular polygon we are finding so formula is each exterior angle is 360 by n the formula for each exterior angle is 365 by n n is number of sides of the polygon example i have taken n as 6 here example is n i have taken n as 6 so 360 by 6 because here 360 by n n is number of sides i have taken n is equals to 6 so 360 by 6 so each angle is 60 in a n is mean n is equals to 6 means hexagon in hexagon each angle is 60 each exterior angle is 60 exterior so next diagonals of a polygon so diagonals are the one who who joins the non consecutive vertices non consecutive meaning that does not lie they are not adjacent so, non-consecutive vertices, for finding diagonals or uh, how many diagonals are there in the polygon, we, there is a formula. The number of diagonals of n-sided polygon, n means, n means number of sides. There is a formula that is. N, n into n minus 3 by 2. Number of sides into number of sides minus 3 by 2. Example, I have taken number of sides are 3. Here I have taken number of sides are 3. So, I have taken number of sides are 3. If number of sides are 3, then, it, then the polygon is triangle. If number of sides are there, then the polygon is triangle. So here, 3 into 3 minus 3 by 2. n into n minus 3 by 2, right? So, let me substitute n. So, n in n plus, I will substitute 3. 3 into 3 minus 3 by 2. 3 minus 3, I will get 0. So, 3 into 0 by 2. If anything into 0, I will get 0. So, 3 into 0 also, I will get 0. So, 0 by 2, I have got 0. So, triangle has no diagonals. Let us draw and check. This is a triangle. We have learned that non-consecutive vertices only. We should draw line segment. There is no diagonal. How can we draw diagonal in this? We can't draw diagonal, right? When it comes to Quadrilateral, it has four line segments, right? This is a four line segment quadrilateral. This is four line segments. It has two diagonals. See, I can draw two diagonals here. When I prove it, let me this also prove with formula. I have taken n as 4, suppose. So, 4 into 4 minus 3 by 2. Then, 4 into 1 by 2 that is 4 by 2 when i divide it i'll get 2 here also i have got this is one diagonal this is another diagonal here i have got two diagonals when i tried it with formula also i have got two diagonals so quad uh, the smallest number of diagonals in a quad a polygon is 2 that is a quadrilateral if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you